What's good, everyone? It's Rainbow Destroyers here. Back on some Forza 6. This time around. Got the 370Z. Some of you may remember this from a while ago. Last time I was really on this game before Horizon came out. This was one of the uh, last cars that I built. And that was on a controller. So I said, well, let's uh, revisit it. Took a little bit of power out of it and retuned it. Like the uh, R35 and the Supra. Go ahead and show you guys the upgrades here. Race intake, race fuel. Mind you, this has the RB in it, the 2.6 twin turbo. Uh, race ignition, race exhaust, sport cams, race valves, race block, race pistons, stock turbos, race intercooler, race oil and cooling, and a race flywheel. Uh, let's see, this is all probably going to be race, race cage, race weight. What kind of tires are we on? We are on sport tires, 245s in the front, and 285s in the rear. Hold on, we're going to bring that down, 275s. Uh, yeah, that's, well, let me show you guys, you know, RB. There it is, RB for 522 horsepower. Let's, uh, well, gotta show you the tune first. I'm about to say, let's go slide it. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, good. It didn't change the PSI. There it is, 2618. Oh my god, auto clutch is on. There we go, it's off. 2618 for the PSI as usual. Uh, first, first through six is the same as the previous cars, but I had to up the final drive to 383. Got negative five in the front, and then I tried the 0.8 toe because I remember that from Mystified's tuning on Horizon 3 so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, 2 and 1 for the roll bars. 534, 295 slammed. Uh, 8, 6, 8 for the rebound. Bump is 4 and 2, 4. And then 60, 60 for the brakes and 100 for the diff. Lock it up. Try Catalonia. Right? I mean... Should be able to do something here. I was just goofing off in the, uh, the airfield with this car. Felt alright. Wheel felt a little weird, like, I don't know, it was really smooth. Which other cars haven't, haven't felt smooth yet. Do that completely like backwards. I don't want to be inside there at the end, but whatever. Can't lie, I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of this, like, and then I stall. Let me just shut the fuck up. Dropping the tire, dropping two. Technically, the run will be over by then, right?
okay. Okay. I think that was by far the best run I've ever had. Not gonna lie. Nope. Let me just stop that right there. I'm getting greedy with this car. This car gets a shit ton of angle. No, we're just turning around. I'm just going to turn around. No point trying to salvage that. Straightened out. It was ugly. Transition was terrible. The rest of this is turning terrible. I gotta say, out of the R35 and the Supra, this is the best feeling car I've made so far. Son of a bitch. Oh, and to the homie that wanted the Challenger build, I'm going to get to that. I just want to kind of want to stick on Motorsport for a while. Just want to, you know, not get my muscle memory all confused between the two. Just want to get a balance, you know what I mean? Oh, that Rumble Strip almost messed me up. Holy crap. Oh, went extra wide here at the end. I gotta say, I am loving this car. Son of a bitch. Nope. Dude, oh my god, how like... No traction on that. Holy shit.
I think it's safe to say I kind of got how 270 is on the wheel. Now it's, just, now it's just a matter of getting smooth with all different types of cars. So, got a pretty good understanding. Oh, there, there I go talking about 270 and look at me straighten up on transitioning and go right off the track. I think that that 0.8 toe, I'm pretty sure that that's what's making the difference. Son of a bitch. But hey, the run was technically over. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, it's funny, I never used to like coming to this track really. Like, I, I like the track on Forza 4 all day long. But something about Forza 5 and this game, I don't even know if this track, yeah, this track was on Forza 5. Won't, Hell am I saying? But there was just something about this that made me not want to drive it. I think it was when I got the wheel and I started using nine. Oh my god, nine hundred. It just it, it didn't feel good. I was able to do other tracks on nine hundred. Then I get to this game and I couldn't use the wheel at all. Now here I am learning learn two seventy on Horizon and it's a big improvement. Yeah, I never, I didn't even like coming here when I was on the controller on Forza 6, so. Shout out to all the 270 users, just saying. Makes life so much easier. I mean, you definitely gotta be smoother, that's for sure. Angle, please. Let's make this last run good. Well, that, oh, man, man, well, rip. All right, well, that was good enough for me. Hope you guys enjoyed Tremaine Man Destroyers. Get the hell out of here, and I'll see you guys later.